it will be SLO, SLO, SLO. One, three, three, I think. I'm there. Slovakia. Pass to you after a brief intro call, if you like. Right, okay. That's normal. <clears throat> Talk about the medal standings. A very good evening to you all here in Montreal, in Canada, for the IPC Swimming World Championships 2013. My name is Nick Gillingham. We're bringing you live finals this evening, 24 finals, 24 finals, we'll see medals galore, gold, silver and bronze, they are shared across many, many nations this week at the uh, Parc Jean Drapeau Aquatic Complex, and Paul, you have a lot of information on the medals table right now. Yeah, we're just looking at how we stand after the first five days of competition. Ukraine are very much at the top of the medal table so far. There's a list of events that we have this evening, starting with the men's 50 metres butterfly S6, and continuing down individual medley and butterfly events. The 150 metres individual medley, not your traditional four strokes, just three strokes used in that. We'll cover that when we come to the events. Backstroke, breaststroke and freestyle events to look forward to. And no relays at the end of the night tonight. But the 100 butterfly swims are the final events of tonight's programme. We had a bit of drama last night in the relays. But we'll have to wait until the final day of competition before we have our next set of relays. Just started to say there, Ukraine topped the medal table. 26 gold medals, an incredible performance so far from the very strong team from Ukraine. They've got twice as many gold medals as any of the other teams, Great Britain and the Russian Federation, with 13 medals apiece. USA, the only other team in double figures, 10 medals for the team from USA. But overall, 35 countries have hit the medal table here, and we've managed to get gold medals from 24 of those countries. Yes, we're taking finals through to 7.58 p.m. local time here in Montreal, so a slightly shorter programme this evening. But we hit, did have drama last night in the men's medley relay, 4 by 50 metres, 20 points, where we saw a disqualification by Brazil. If you joined us last night, you will have seen the super slow motion replay played over and over again to have a very close look at the finish, well, I can tell you it was a plus 0 0.03 speaking to the judges today. So it was not, it was not a full start. It was not a flying start, as we call it. So there was no disqualification in respect to that point of the event. However, there was a disqualification because Brazil's Ladies swimmer climbed out of the water, did, sorry, I beg your pardon, did not climb out of the water when they should have done. They did not leave the pool early enough, and that warrants a disqualification. Swimmers in the higher classes have to exit the waters. Those swimmers in the lower classes, one, two, three, four, and five, are allowed to remain in the water. So those are the reasons behind that, pure drama, and the medal ceremony will take place this evening in relation to the men's medley, four by 50, 20 points. Start list for the men's 50 metres butterfly. Swimmers already behind the block. Matthew Hannapel from Australia goes in lane one. Yaroslav Semenenko, we've seen him before this week. He goes in two. Kaosuke Oyama from Japan in three. And the first of the two Chinese swimmers, Ching Chu from China, the world record holder. And Zheng Tao. Second Chinese swimmer in the next to his country mate in lane five. Nelson Crispin has done well this week from Colombia in six. Sergei Klyagin from Russia in seven. And Talison Glock from Brazil in lane number eight. That's the eight swimmers for this first event this evening. The men's 50 metres butterfly for the S6 class. Xing Zhu in four. Perhaps a favourite, 29 9 0. 
But watch out for Teo Zeng in five, his teammate. Fastest qualifier centre of the pool and all eight competitors are set. Well, fastest away in 0.58 is Crispin. Crispin very quick out of his blocks for Colombia. And there's the Chinese swimmer there, Cheng Zhu. I like to watch these Chinese guys swim there. The, the two-legged Chinese swimmer there was Zhao Zheng. He gets off the block very well. But Cheng Zhu, the world record holder, really got a battle on his hands here. But it looks like it's going to go to lane five. Zhao Zheng, and this is going to be a surprise. And wow, what a time there from Zhao Zheng from China. 29.95, just five one hundreds outside the world record time held by his countrymate in the next lane. Ching Zhu, well, that's a surprise to me, Nick, but a great performance there from Tao Zheng from China. Absolutely, and uh, an America's record for Crispin. A good performance for him. But what a world uh, performance there by Zheng. There's the finishing swimmer from lane number one coming in, and lane number two. And the centre of the pool right there, that was the margin of difference between five. You saw the number five popping up there, five and four. Teo Zheng and Ching Zhu, both of the People's Republic of China. So a great swim for Teo Zheng. 29.95, just five one hundredths shy of the world record. The world record holder settling for the silver, Crispin, the bronze.